I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show, Keith. It's a damn good show. Yeah. Frontier Airlines. I used to fly on that airline when I was trying to save money. I remember the first time I got on, I was like, man, these people look crazy as hell on this plane. Yeah. It was a nice plane, but it's just too much diversity, you know? The plane looked nice. Them seats, like, them like. I mean, first class was okay, but it's just. There ain't no first class on Frontier. You want no first class? Yeah, yeah, it was. No, no you had. seats are first class, man. Yeah, but it's not first class. That's first class, first four seats. What you talking about? <laughs> no, ain't no first class, though. First yeah, class. More, had leg room. Yeah, had more room, but it's not really first class. First class is what you get on United and American Airlines. That's first class. You know the white woman coming to you, hey, so you want a hot towel to wipe your face off? That's first class. Yeah. Not you, not uh. I like them hot towels too. Like it. Oh man. Oh man, thank you. Nice hot rag. <laughs> so check out this woman. But you on. know what, Keith? Hey, Kim, shut the fuck Hold up. The front. I'm trying to say something, man. I'm trying to go to a <laughs> video. <laughs> Let's go to the video. On camera, airplane chaos. New video shows the moment an unruly passenger on a flight from Orlando to Philadelphia oh, dropped man. her pants in the middle of the aisle. Look at this video on the screen. Investigators say she also shouted multiple expletives and threatened to kill another passenger. Fox 35's Patrick Perez breaks down what happened. Flying can be stressful, especially on a holiday week, but what passengers aboard this flight witness is something that they're never going to forget, and neither will the young children who saw and heard it all. I do whatever I want to do for this. Right this Frontier Latina. Airlines passenger <laughs> aboard immigrant. flight Monday from immigrants. Orlando to Philadelphia <laughs> sent shockwaves through the cabin, not just with her words. But also with her actions. Sorry, everybody. Are you serious? Oh. At the moment she got her pants and squatted, I it was in took complete a shock. I couldn't a believe what I was witnessing. Lorette Miller was one of dozens of passengers who watched this woman expose herself and yell expletives at others. I don't give a f no f you. Yeah. I gotta go pee. The only thing that I've ever experienced before was a medical emergency on a plane and, um, this this completely took the cake. Julie Hartman says the woman's unruly behavior started before the flight even took off. Like the lady that, that, that put her pants down wasn't yeah. happy that she was asked to sit in her, like her own person. seat. She had apparently sat in someone else's seat. But it escalated as the plane was landing oh, before the a, pilot uh, could even park at the gate. Hit, Passengers say the woman wanted <laughs> to get ball, off the man. plane first. When that didn't work, she asked to use the bathroom, but the flight attendant did not allow her to. Yeah, and soon enough, bathroom. other passengers chimed in. The flight attendant just stood there, um, kind of just with her arm blocking to get to the cockpit area and just watch this whole thing happen. Eventually, the woman was seen getting off the plane and walking freely outside the terminal. There she was, just walking to her car, no security guards, no police officers, which tells me that nothing was done there. And I just couldn't believe what I witnessed. I'll do whatever I want to do. And Lauren says she reached out to Frontier Airlines after witnessing all of this go down. She says the airline offered her 10,000 points for her troubles. In the studio, <laughs> Patrick Perez, Fox. Well, it's Frontier Airlines, man. Hey, you know, her, it's a different clientele on that. Just like it's a different clientele on Spirit. It's a different clientele, man. Hey, I think her, 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 her conduct was reprehensible. And it's inexcusable. It's disgraceful. But there's two sides to every story. What I took away from this, she had to go to the bathroom. Flight attendants said, no, hold it. That shit would piss me off, too. I probably pulled my mushroom tip out and piss on everybody. No, you ain't. I'd be pissed. I don't think I'd piss on anybody, but I'd be pissed. Yeah, I mean, now, I could. what will cause a woman, Key, to behave like this? Like you're just poking somebody. You, like, put an animal in a cage and just keep prodding. <laughs> like that, that animal's going to turn into a vicious savage. Same thing for human beings. Just keep poking. Just keep poking. Whoa. And she and she snapped. That's what happened. They didn't let her go to the bathroom. Because nobody in that right mind. I like it when way. I'm like opening my mouth and you can start talking again. I, I love saying. it. I love it when you do that. That's a you get one of these moods where I be like, I, I, this is what I sound like doing. 
Cause you cut me off. Well, you need to learn how to talk quicker. No, you need to just relax, man. I'm relaxed. All right. So I remember I give y'all just one story, right? Now here we go. Um, the plane landed, and um, we sat on the tarmac for like an hour. For some reason, we couldn't pull into the gate. And I already was looking at the damn. <laughs> by the hour before we landed, I was already looking at that. Yeah, man, I gotta piss. I gotta piss. I can't go piss. <laughs> Damn, nuts is hurt. I gotta put so bad, right? But they wouldn't let's go use the um, bathroom because we was going through turbulence and stuff. So there's turning light up. They said, "Please go sit down. We're gonna go through turbulence." So I was like, "Oh, I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom." So we land on the tarmac. We land. I'm like, "Yes, hurry up, get to the gate, get to the gate." <laughs> I've been paid over here, right? And then we sit on the tarmac another hour. And I, I called her. I said, "Ma'am, I need to use the bathroom." No, we're not at the gate yet. I was like, yo, yo, I'm about to turn into a nigga in here. But I held it, right? You remember, this is yeah. Chicago Airport. Yeah, then I got off. I'm running to the damn restroom. I'm running. And then it's a line. <laughs> I'm like, oh. right? And then I'm basically waiting. And this is old dude right in front of me. So he walks up to it like this. <laughs> It, it take like it take him ten minutes to walk five steps, and then he sit right there, and ain't no piss coming out, <laughs> right? And then all of a sudden, by the middle, I see a little trickle come out. He's like, ah, 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 and I was like, oh, God, I want to piss so bad, right? And then he he got done. He was turning, around, I was, get the <laughs> fuck out the way. <laughs> Oh, and by the time I took a piss, I said like, it hurt when it came. I was like, Whoa! oh, 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 <laughs> you remember that? I remember that shit, man. You get, you gotta go so bad. It won't go, even come out. You go, it won't even come out. It's like something gonna blow up inside. <laughs> I said, yep. I didn't snap some shit. I bet I'm pissing inside of myself right now. Yeah. That's probably what happened, Key. That's that's why I told that story. Shit's all dang. I'm not I'm not trying to justify what she did. Yeah. But when you you can't hold it but so long. Like when I was man, get the hell off me. Like when I was younger, I could hold it all day. Not but anymore, man, man, I'm damn near fifty, man. Yeah. I mean I had to be so bad. Well, shut up. When I pulled it out, man, it was <laughs> <laughs> I remember just went there, I had to piss so bad. I was holding it, I pulled it out, piss went flying. <laughs> piss went flying. Everybody's looking at me, like, what the hell's going on? And then I tried to piss, and no piss would come out. I said, like, what the hell's going on? Their valve shut off. Yeah. It's inflamed. You know, you hold it for long, your damn urethra get inflamed, and it just squeeze up on your ass. Urethra? Yeah, your damn urethra, or your damn bladder get inflamed. Mm -hmm. You hold it for so long, and it squeeze, it, 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 uh, the damn bladder gets swollen, <laughs> get inflamed, and it just, it just, it's just like a tourniquet on your damn urethra. And then when you gotta uh, go, you gotta like, you gotta push it out. Yeah, I think you know why they didn't um, call the cops on her because I think their allowance was in the wrong. How on how she the hell can she you? Did flash. How can you expose yourself and then defecate? She didn't defecate. She took a pee. But well, defecate is pissing, right? No, defecating is like you dropping you dropping bricks. <laughs> so pissing ain't defecating. It's just okay. That's that's defecating. Others urinate. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody pulls. You up, didn't know that. Well, I didn't know. Now I know. Who you? Who you think you better than me? <laughs> she pisses out. She pisses right. She pisses out. Yeah, she pisses out. Right. <laughs> you, you, sound, you make it sound like she bled out. <laughs> <laughs> she bled out. She damn. She gone. Yeah. They didn't call the cops because they were in the wrong. Well, it's, front, you. it's frontier. They probably don't have no resources. No, they, they don't. They'll be like, look, uh, you know, frontier. You could, shut up. You know, frontier don't have good. Frontier do not have good um, customer service skills. Well, the clientele. Well, well, well we, 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 we keep saying clientele. Frontier people. and all those yeah, discount too much airlines. It, it just too the much clientele. Say it, say it. What? It's too much diversity. It's too much poor diversity. <laughs> Not poor, but you know. Show's over. 
You gonna tell them about the damn contest? Contest almost up. It's gonna end like any minute now. <laughs> it's like the end of the month. You could win ten thousand in cash and a Ford Bronco with thirty five thousand upgrades. The end of the win. Go to fishwallstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah.